This right here is a promising drug candidate for liver cancer. Now, there are many of these, but this one is special. It is special because it was developed in just 30 days, which is really unbelievable in drug discovery. It usually takes about 10 years or more to get to a promising drug candidate. So what's the secret to this speed? Artificial intelligence. AI, 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 AI. Hi, I'm Jamal and this is SciTech. So in my lab, we do what we call small molecule drug discovery. We take these intricate cancer causing proteins and design small molecule drugs, small molecule chemicals that can bind to them and stop them. Now, this can be a really difficult endeavor. Cancer causing proteins are very tricky and hard to target. We start by finding a suitable target protein that we sure is responsible. Now, we have over 20,000 proteins, so that alone can take years. We then have to confirm which version of the protein is responsible. Protein can have active and inactive versions. They can also have several versions with different structures and they also have mutations as well. To make this even more complicated, we have to get a detailed 3D structure of the protein before we start looking at drug candidates. And this can take years. We need to use X-ray crystallography and recently we have cryo EM technology that does it much better and faster. So after isolating the protein, you then start a long process of trying thousands of small molecules on it to see which one will bind. This used to take long, but we now have automated methods using high throughput machines. These are robots that can work day and night to try these small molecules. We also use computational tools such as docking and simulations to compute the binding before we try these molecules in the lab. Now, despite all these methods, it still takes a long time to get a good drug candidate. And by the way, these drug candidates are not final drugs. They still need to be tested in cells, animals, and then humans in clinical trials. But artificial intelligence is changing all of that. First, instead of spending years and millions of dollars solving the 3D structures, AI has solved that problem. You can now give it a sequence of amino acids and it will give you a 3D structure that's highly accurate. And this was solved recently by DeepMind's AlphaFold. We now have a library of thousands of protein structures that we didn't have before. So now that we can get thousands of structures for free, we need to find out how to speed up the next step, finding a suitable drug from millions of molecules. One of the companies at the forefront of this is in silico medicine. They, in collaboration with researchers at the University of Toronto, found a promising drug in just 30 days. This drug that targets hepatocellular carcinoma which is the most common type of primary liver cancer, was discovered using 3D structures from AlphaFold and an AI drug discovery platform from InSilico. In their paper published in the Journal of Chemical Science, they used an AI engine called Pandiomics to find a protein called CDK10 as a target for hepatocellular carcinoma. They then used another AI engine called Chemistry42 to find suitable small molecules that can bind to this protein. When they tested these molecules on cancer cells, it shows great selective antiproliferation activity. And that means that it only killed cancer cells with great effectiveness. The great scientist and Nobel laureate Michael Levitt say that this research is further evidence of the capacity for AI to transform the drug discovery process 
with enhanced speed, efficiency, and accuracy. And those three are really important in drug discovery. Now, this drug discovery platform called Pandiomics has also been instrumental in discovering a few other drugs recently. The company in Silico has discovered over 12 drugs with some in the clinical trials. Even high school students use their platform to discover new therapeutic drugs for glioblastoma multiforma, which is one of the most aggressive and common brain tumors. That's amazing, right? High school students, which shows how powerful these AI platforms are. AI and machine learning systems are being used in science everywhere. Scientists are using the data from everything we've discovered so far, and they're using these powerful AI models to train them and predict some really cool stuff. A lot of things that used to take years, a lot of manpower, a lot of money, a lot of time are being automated and made easy by AI. And remember, this is just the beginning. AI is still in its infancy and we're going to be seeing a lot more breakthroughs with AI in science. And I'm going to be here to tell you all about it. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure that you subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode of SciTech. Take care. Bye-bye.